for energy testing, I have two games consoles. On the left, a, an Xbox 360, and on the right, a Nintendo Wii. There are no peripherals attached to either of them, no discs in the disc drives, so they're just bare bones uh, consoles. At the moment, they're both unplugged, and if we zoom in, we'll see that the energy monitor is reading zero. Okay, so first one I'm going to plug in is the Xbox 360. Let's zoom back a bit there for a second. So that's the plug of the Xbox 360 gun in. And if we zoom in again, we'll see that it's drawing around 2.4 watts. So 2.4 watts, just plugged in and turned off, not doing anything. Nothing in the drive, no peripherals attached, no lights displaying, nothing, just putting a constant 2.4 watts. If I now turn it on, starts lighting up. You can see there, nothing in the disk drive. And now if we go back to the energy meter, we'll see It should be drawing significantly more and indeed you can see there it's drawing around 109 watts so 109 watts when it's turned on turn it off again drops down to 2.4 so that's the, the Xbox 360. If I now change to the Nintendo Wii, I have it plugged down there as well. I'll unplug the 360 and plug in the Wii. 360 out. Wii plugged in. And now if I zoom in on that, currently consuming 1.8 watts. So that's quite low. It's lower than the Xbox 360, but it's an unusual state, and I'll explain why in a second. If we zoom back, and we're gonna have a look at the Wii itself, you can see, hopefully, on the Wii, that there's a little red light showing just there, where my thumb is, where my finger is now. Now that light shines red only when it's plugged in and doing nothing, as in if it's unplugged and then plugged in, the light is red. However, if you turn it on, the light goes green. See, if I press this guy, the eject button, there's no disc in it. If we go down and look at the consumption now, we'll see consumption is considerably lower. The Xbox was drawing about 109 watts, the Wii only takes 14 watts. But, and this is where it gets a little bit tricky, if we now Go back to the Wii and press the power button, the green power button there. Press that to turn it to make it go asleep or put it in standby mode. Didn't work. You had to 
So it's gone to orange now. So it's in standby mode. So that's typically typical behavior. You finish playing the game, you want to turn it off, you press the power button, power button goes from green to orange, and the consumption is still at 9.5. So the standby mode in the Wii draws 9.5 watts compared to the 2 point something watts that the Xbox 360 draws. Now, just to go back there, it, was, it has a much lower state when the red light is on, but the only way to get it into that state that I could find was to unplug it and plug it in again. So if I try and hold this in, that simply turns it on. No matter how long you hold it for, there's no way to get it back to the red without actually unplugging it. Similarly, if I hold it like that, no matter how long I hold it for, I'm wrong. If you hold it long enough, if you hold the power button long enough, it goes to red instead of orange. And in that case, The consumption, the energy usage, goes down to 1.8. But I suspect very few people are aware of that. You have to hold the power button for, I don't know, three or four seconds or more before the energy drops to 1.8 instead of the 9 that it's on in standby. So, lesson again from here is either unplug it from the wall or use a power strip which has uh, a switch at the end of it that you can unplug or that you can turn off the power to all the devices on it. That's what I have behind my television. I have a power strip with a switch at the end of it that turns off the power going to the TV, the DVD player and the games consoles. And that way there's zero consumption because they're all 